Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is Decoms Prepper from Stuttgart, Germany. I hope you guys are holding up well back in the States and your families are safe and your preps are holding up. I apologize for the quality of this video. I haven't been able to find a really good location yet in Stuttgart to shoot videos where I don't have traffic or pedestrian noise in the background. Right now I'm in the driveway and it's another car. And I'm not going to cut that out. I'm in the driveway shooting an intro for this video. My last video I did a quick intro of the 3D printed security bot or rover. I took it out for a test drive today and found some limitations. The clearance isn't very good. We'll see if we show you that underneath. It's only a couple inches and it did get hung up quite a bit. So I'm working on a version 2.0 with a much larger drive gear that you can see there. Uh, inside this box is a Raspberry Pi with some custom code for driving the motor controller which drives the two motors which drive the rear gears. Running a Python code with the Raspberry Pi that emulates PWM or pulse width modulation that's fed to a motor controller, a basic micro 2x15 motor controller. So this is just a dry run, as I said version 1. Version 2, I hope, is going to be much better with much greater clearance. As for the Arden node, I have a 2.4 gig whip antenna connected to a Ubiquiti bullet. And I'll insert some screenshots of the internals here. So what I'll do is I'll roll over from this intro piece to just some video from the perspective of this camera. So I hope you enjoy this second video on the Rover Security Bot. And more importantly, I hope you and your families are safe back in the States and stay prepared and stay safe. Let's roll over to the first person view from the rover bot. My kids have named this Jarvis, so that's what they call it. Let's check out the view of the world from Jarvis's angle. Be right back. All right, I'm creating this audio separately as this video plays along. What I'm doing here is opening up the node for the little USB drive that's connected to my keyboard, or my keyboard, my laptop, which is connected to my local mesh on the Arden Amateur Radio Emergency Data Network. I'm gonna go out to the node that's in the bot and access the Raspberry Pi camera, what I call bot cam. So now I'm pulling up the bot cam here. I minimize this screen and I'm also going to go into that camera and lower the resolution to try to reduce some of the lag. So I set it to TV mode and I change the frames per second. Hit OK. So I'm using the web browser to access the camera. And then I'm going to open up PuTTY and connect to the Raspberry Pi so I can run the Python code which drives the bot. And they're just simple keyboard commands that emulate pulse width modulation to the motor controller. And the numbers actually represent a percentage of a 50 cycle PWM signal. And that's enough to drive the motor controller to turn the gears. So F and J are forward, V and N are reverse. I set up the left, right, forward and back arrow keys. The space bar is a hard stop and if there's no keyboard entry whatsoever for 30 seconds it comes to a hard stop. Let's see if we can get this thing going. Alright so now I'm changing the level here or the percentage of the PWM to run the left and the right track. And it can be challenging. Speed is not something you're going to accomplish with this because there is lag, even though I'm on a dedicated network. I'm sure there's some things I can tweak in the future, but you do incremental steps. And the idea I have behind this project is to send this to West Virginia, have a charging station, and then I can drive it to different spots on the property, park it, and then use the high resolution camera to check things out. My off-grid solar power system, my rainwater collector, and even a CC or the cabin cat. So now I'm going to try to navigate between these two cars 
and get on the neighbor's property and I'll go ahead and end the audio track here and throw in some cheap free cheesy music from YouTube so you're gonna have to listen to me stutter here hope you enjoy the video